Hmm. Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, so I ha am starting, I guess, another bus uh, model, so similar to what we, what I just finished. Um, for this one though, uh, we're going to be starting uh, the uh, <clears throat> sorry, the model's going to be very sort of more. Serpent like, so it'll be an S shape more so than just like. So, what I'm getting at is the old one was sort of like this shape with the horns here. The one I'm looking at doing now is going to be more like this. I'm just going to pause and get my reference back into frame one moment. Alright. Got my reference. Uh, yeah, so essentially let's start getting this into shape. This, this guy's going to be pretty bulky, and I did mention it last time, but it is going to be an, the, uh, the title up here tells you it it's going to be a, a Deathwing sculpt, or at least attempt at that. Um, but I've got a good reference. I'm actually bring it up here. This is this is the reference I'm going with because it's awesome, and there's a left, right, and front view for that. Um, you can see that this one, I mean, this is some sort of competition, I think. It may have it on an upright stance, but we want this mounted. So I'm going to add a bit extra and sort of have it here. Um, we won't get into we like wing territory with that. Um, but we will be able to um, we'll be able to do a bit more because we're going to actually have the neck flap and then start these metal barriers right at the base. Uh, so I'll just put that back here. Um, so the m important thing is to get this shape right. I think these need to be a bit taller. Like I said, everything's quite bulky. Like it, his whole frame's almost the same thickness until you get to the uh, until you get to the head. I actually have plenty of reference, like I've got a few more images off, off the internet, but I thought I'd get some physical uh, reference as well. And not that this is really the style that I'm looking into doing, but I did pick up this, um, the Pops figure of Deathwing, and I know it's a sin to take them out of their, uh, their packaging, but oh well, it's done now. So he is my physical evidence, uh, evidence reference. It actually will work out because I can use this at least get the design for the horns because that'll be um, a challenge in itself. I'm just going to, you'll see the reference pop up here for a sec. I'm just going to go to our front, see how we're going.
Alright. So we can start doing the horns. And oops. I guess. We've got the one on the front. We'll have the one, the tiny little one on the front here, where the uh, where the nose is, just about there. Um, and then. The front ones. And there about, yeah. And the second set here. Another set, yeah. All right, so adding that in there separates that. That's not good. We'll just keep going and see what happens. But um, all right. They're going to go like that. Just a, like I said, just a matter of positioning these in the right spots. Easier than that. Right back here. Like that. <clears throat> these ones. Be there. There's actually a, another one there, but I can actually add that in later. will literally just make everything thicker than it's supposed to be. But that looks pretty good. That's a good start anyway, I'm actually going to save that. 
and uh, we'll leave it there for today. But um, yeah, hopefully you've had a, a good Wednesday, and I will talk to you again, hopefully, tomorrow. Alright, cheers guys.